In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your pump return into a sight glass on your RoboBrew. And that's coming up next. How's it going? My name is Brian. I'd like to welcome you to another video. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn more about electric brewing, see how-to videos just like this one and all other home brewing related stuff, consider subscribing. And if you do, click that bell so you don't miss the next video when we put it out. Something that I personally thought that the RoboBrew is lacking is a sight glass. And with the issue of the measurements being off on the actual stamping inside, it's something that I feel is needed. And so I came up with a solution for that. Let's jump into it. So the tools you're gonna to need are gonna be a Phillips head screwdriver, a crescent wrench, a pair of pliers, a five millimeter drill bit or 13 64 a drill, and a hacksaw with a bimetal blade. Now the parts you're gonna to need to complete this modification are gonna be an eighth inch by one and a half inch flat aluminum piece of stock two five millimeter by 12 millimeter stainless steel machine screws, two five millimeter stainless steel locking nuts. And if you can't get those, you can use the 1032 option, which is an American version, and the screws need to be a half an inch long. Two feet of ultra clear 3 8 high temp silicone tubing. And I did get that from Brew Hardware. I'll leave links in the description down below for all of the products that I used on there. Uh, one half inch NPT by 3 8 male NPT fitting and a half inch NPT female by half inch hose barb for the bottom. Six or seven half inch ID O-rings, doesn't matter what size they are, just the interior dimensions need to be a half an inch to fit over the tubing. And one quarter inch to five eighths stainless steel clamp. Now the first thing you do is start to disassemble. In order to do that, you'll take the two screws from the bracket at the top of the robo brew that hold the return pipe on, save the screws and the bracket because we'll be using those later. Once you do that, you can flex the pipe out and remove the ball valve assembly. Set that off to the side we'll be reusing it as well. Once you're done doing that, then you can take off the main pipe by unscrewing the uh, half inch nut at the bottom. And you'll notice that there is a silicone washer down there. You don't necessarily need that. Um, in my case, I'm using a Blickman fitting, which has an O-ring in it. If you use a regular standard female uh, hose barb type fitting, you will need to put some Teflon tape around that connection as well as, like before, any of the connections that are threaded that you don't have a silicone O-ring for, you'll need to put some Teflon tape around those. Once you get done with that, you'll take your eighth inch plate that is cut to two and a quarter inches long, and you'll use the bracket from the Rubble Brew that held on the pipe to mark the holes in it. Drill your holes, make sure everything is square and tr uh, true and lined up, so you have a good straight alignment whenever you put the unit together. Once you get your bracket cut, then you'll use the original screws that held the bracket on the Robo Brew to attach the plate to the Robo Brew itself. Attach your hose to your hose barb and then screw it onto the Robo Brew at the base. After you do that, you're gonna put your O-rings on so that you have those on prior to putting on all of your other fittings as well as putting on the hose clamp for the top. Once you get that done, you can measure your hose to the bracket length at the top and you're gonna cut it a little bit short because silicone by nature will expand a little bit when it gets warm and you're gonna to wanna to stretch it just a little bit so that it remains fairly taut throughout your brewing process because it's gonna have hot liquid in it. Once you do that, go ahead and snip off your hose at the required length. Then you'll attach the top barb to the hose and screw on your ball valve fitting at the top. My situation, I left the silicone O-ring inside of the ball valve so that it made a seal and I did not have to use any Teflon tape on that. Just make sure whenever you're tightening down your hose barb that it is hitting that silicone uh, O-ring in there. Otherwise you will need to put some Teflon tape in there. Once you're done with that, go ahead and attach the bracket and use the 12 millimeter screws with the locking nuts to attach it to the unit. After you do that, all that's left is to recalibrate the hose by filling it with increments of water at a time, measuring as you go. Adjust the O-rings on the tube to indicate what level you're at as you go along, and that will give you your, your indicator marks. After you get done with that, then all you have left to do is go ahead and turn on the pump, verify you have no leaks. One of the things that I did want to address, you probably are thinking that with the 3 8 hose barb at the top, you're gonna to have an issue with less flow. As you can see from my testing, the flow is absolutely fine. You won't have any issues with that at all. So as you can see, it's a pretty good solution for the sight glass for the Robo Brew. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a question down in the comment section below. I think you'll really enjoy this modification that will allow you to sparge to your correct level as well as tell what your level is when you boil. The pump is an impeller pump, so it doesn't impede the level of the water. 
The only thing that you might have an issue with is if you do a highly hop beer and the screen or the pump itself becomes plugged, then it may not be as effective. But if you use a hop sack as suggested in previous videos, that's my suggestion, you will not have any issues at all. Now this modification can be used in conjunction with the cam lock upgrade that I did to the Robo Brew in a previous video. If you'd like to see that video, click or tap the screen right here. If you're interested in another video from Short Circuit of Brewers, tap or click the screen right here. If you'd like to support the channel by purchasing a t-shirt or a sticker, click the t-shirt icon right here. And if you'd like to subscribe, click the round Short Circuit of Brewers icon on the screen now. This has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. We really appreciate the support, all of our subscribers. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next video.